takes an hour to go to the post office, you know. An hour and a half of the dog. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Let's call the meeting to order. Almighty God, you have blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. Help us to use them wisely in the service of our town government. <clears throat> we ask this in thy holy name. Amen. Amen. So, I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, Nick. Better than the one in the audience tonight. You have it? Anything you'd like to share with us? Or just Not material to Just an observer? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> make sure Clark and Steve behave. What's that? <laughs> make sure I behave. We'll make sure you behave. Yes. Well, wow. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. Some of the family that we don't know about, man. <laughs> we'll let it be there. Yeah. Um, yeah, the minutes of our last meeting on July 11th, the regular town board meeting. That was approved. Make motion to approve the minutes of the July 11th board meeting. Second. Any questions or concerns about the minutes? If not, those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? That's carried. I'm going to add the town clerk's motion report. I'll make that motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Second. Any questions? On the town clerk's monthly report. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's also carried. If you have your zoning board minutes and informational only, please do read them. They are interesting. You know what's going on around town. You also have your monthly uh, full offers report. Uh, this is uh, for the month of June. Got another one here for July? Oh no, I'm sorry, wasn't that something else? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sometimes she's a shade, uh, she does get them to us. Uh, you also have your uh, EMS report for the month. I think there's two there. Okay, you got two of those. Uh, June and July both. Very helpful. Strictly for information. You also have your Champlain Fire District's uh, financial annual financial report, audit, independent auditor report of the Champlain Fire District. I have not read it all, but I'm sure it's very interesting. Okay. It's strictly for information. We'd like to approve, uh, it's been requested that we approve a temporary part-time filing clerk uh, to help Jane uh, do some work uh, temporarily at $15 an hour for up to 20 hours a week. This will be just for uh, assuming from our gathering the next three months at most. Okay. So. She'd like to get all caught up so she can start yes. on the budget. The budget she has done a lot of work on the, <coughs> on the water project. To, Sort and file this, but that yeah, she mentioned that to me too. She did, did she? Yeah. Uh, so, if to desire of the board, I'd like to have a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve for a temporary part time flight and clerk to help Jane out. Okay. $15 an hour, <coughs> 20 hours a week. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's also carried. Alan, what you have for us on the highway? I got one thing. The last new truck that I bought last fall, we did not buy a warranty with it. I kept putting it off, putting it off, because they were, they had three, four different uh, options we could get at the time, and I wasn't sure what they get because we've gotten them in the past, and I was disappointed in some of them. You know, you send a truck down there, some of the stuff is covered, but the labor's not, and it's. So they've changed that around a little bit. So I'm running under warranty right now, a factory warranty for the truck's a year old. But I'm not going to wait till you know the last days up to buy a warranty. 
So they gave me one the other day that it makes a lot of sense. It's not as expensive as it's been in the past. It's for seven years, 84 months. It's around $6,600. This covers the engine. It covers the after treatment coverage, which is, includes the, you know, all your basic things like that, pollution. And then it's got towing. It's got a towing package. And that truck fails on the side of the road. It's got a load of sand on it. We don't have too many means of moving that. So I don't know. If it was something I could bring up tonight. Is that right? How much is it? Sixty-six hundred dollars for seven years. And that's not an annual, just one payment. One payment. One payment. Okay. A little less than a thousand a year. I couldn't see get it right now. I mean, in the truck. You got a year on the truck. Yes. Factory warranty, so you're better off to wait a year and buy it after. Why do you have to pay for seven years at once? Because it's cheaper that way. You're paying each year. Uh, yeah. It's a package deal. They might have something a less term, but it'd be probably more expensive per year. Well, they got they, uh, they got about four or five different options, but uh, they, they, some of them are a lot of money. You know, they got bumper to bumper, but the ones that are bumper to bumper, we've had them here. <coughs> they're not that all that great. They're not what they say it is. You know, you send a truck to get repaired, and if it's electrical. A year down the road, if the truck is like two or three years old and you got an electrical problem, it only covers partial of it, you know. They'll, they'll cover the, 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 the parts, but then the labor ain't covered. Or the other way around, they'll cover the labor, but they won't cover the parts, you know. That's where they get you. Well, the thing is, that because there's a year warranty on the truck when we even purchase it, if we have the seven years on, that gives us eight years. We only plan on keeping those trucks now for ten. So that's good for that. Time period. It's not, if you divide it out, it's not that expensive per year. Yeah, but the only thing is, that's the way they offer it. If you want to go two years, well, it might be almost as much money for two years as it is for this long term. We had one here uh, truck we got in 2014, 13. The, the thing plugged up on us. So they got a machine down there that, uh, you know, what they call it, they call it no, but, you know, they, 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 they. This is for the emission? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And it was down there for a couple of days. Well, the bill alone for that, we, we did not pay with warranty. It was $2,500 just for that. That didn't include the labor. That's unreal when you send something to get it repaired. I know that. Well, that pollution is This is. And, and then it, the, the towing is what kills you. you. That truck, uh, when it's full of sand in the middle of wintertime, you got to get it out of the road. Does that often happen? No, but when it does happen, it's very nice when you can call well, a record and come and get it. Yeah, you know, the other thing is what they do is they keep slowing down until they get out. Or the idle wood won't go anywhere because that thing is plugged in the back. So we have to come in and take the plow, plow off so they can back under there and pick it up the <coughs> frame. We have a special truck to pick the damn thing up with. That's happened uh, <clears throat> I've been twice oh, last week. We've had 12 years I've been here, two or three times we've had oh, yeah. expensive yeah. towing. Yeah. Okay. So, so what, just for my own interest here, what does it actually cover? You know, like, well, motor, right there. transmission? Mm -hmm. I think it's drive line and... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just the basic. All I did is get the basics of the truck. I didn't get right into the electrical of it and all that other. I mean, you can get right into those warranties, man. You can spend a lot of money. Yeah. When you first buy a truck, they want you to take it right then. But by waiting a year, we got a free year to start with. All right. You know, it's just like when you go to the store, they want you to buy it uh, on a TV, but for the first year, it's a warranty anyway. How many miles we put on a truck in eight, ten years' time? Oh, 130, 120,000. So you're not, this 250 then is not an issue, 250,000 miles? No, no, that right there is not an issue. So the, so with, like, let's do the breakdown again. If, there, if it needs warranty work, does the towing cover getting it from here and bringing it to Plattsburgh, is that no, what you're saying? If you, if you got towing, if you pay for the towing, right. it's covered. But if you don't, that, that comes out. Because I remember in the past we'd have to have two guys drive two trucks down there, bring it down there, and then bring it back even though it was under yeah. warranty. This outfit here is pretty good. They'll come and get the truck if they have to. And they'll bring it back. They've okay. done that here a couple months ago. We had a truck down there and 
I didn't have time. We were busy. And the guy said, you want me to bring it up for you? Yeah. Joe, bring it up. So is this $6,600 include towing? Yes. Okay. Do you have any idea what other townships do with similar situations? I've never really. Everybody's different. Right. I mean, a few years ago, I I get that magazine. There was a bunch of trucks for sale. Another town had one for sale. It was only two years old. I called the guy, and the guy says, no, I don't believe in their, in their warranties. So I drink trucks every third year. You know, I mean, you, every town, you, you can't compare it. A lot of these towns are different. We had a phone call this morning to the guy who wanted to move down to Skyler Falls. They want to accept the road as some contractor built. And uh, I took the phone call and talked to the guy from in and Alan happened to come in the office. Because our town, we accept the roads like so much pavement, so much width, so much this, so but every town is different. So he said, Alan explained to the guy, he says, you must have your own policy down there because you can't go by our policy. It's whatever you've done in the past. <coughs> so, but every town, they run their own shows. Some guys only we trade their car trucks every three years. I find that pretty hard to believe. Yeah, well, the guy only had three trucks. Well, what? Well, He's probably got some windmill money, which we don't have. Yeah, so. uh, that's what I mean. Every, every, every town got a loophole. <coughs> so we bought this. It would go to effect at the anniversary date of this truck at one year. Yeah, I got to get it before the anniversary date. Okay. So what's the desire of the board? Well, for maintenance, I, I, I would prefer that we have the warranty in the trucks. Is that a motion? Yes, that's a motion. Thank you. Do I have a second to that motion? Yeah, I'll second it. I'm just <laughs> I'm not sure I, I, what it actually covers. That's my thing. Well, well this covers the emission, Steve, that, that after treatment. It's mostly emit. That's the emission. That's the one we got the most problems with. Okay. Uh, right there, we don't, we don't have no ways of testing that. You know, something goes wrong with a truck and it gets plugged up, there's no power. Well, and we know what it is by now, but we know it's got to be down and have that thing cooked again. That's Yeah, you, when you get it cooked, it's right off at $2,500, and the thing don't move here. I mean, it doesn't have any power. So you either got to tow it down there, and there's another 550 bucks. And it's there for two, three days. Okay, I do have a motion in a second. Is there any other discussion on it? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. right, thank you. Anything else, Alan, on the highway? Uh, salt no, shed, it's salt just, sheds moving forward? Well, the salt shed's coming good. We had a meeting today and uh, next week. Well, they come in this Friday, they're going to start moving material in. They got a little work to do in the cement. And in about a couple weeks, everything should be from By the beginning of September, everything should be finalized. First week of September should have the roof on. Okay. And then the pavement. I'm waiting for Mr. Cassell to, to finish cleaning a couple of these roads because I'm going to pave them. <laughs> yeah, please don't do anything to help them out, though. You know. No, but I mean, you know, the, every yes. road that you gotta finish up, there's just minor things stopping me from paving it right now. You know, I got Eden Lane, I got East Street, East Street been, and South Street are pretty much done. But the end of Church Street, they got to pull that box out. That's that vault that's in there. And Eden Lane, I guess there's somebody's lawn, I guess it's not finished there. And I guess, but I, I don't think that'll stop me from paving that. No, it's just that he's he's even having issues with an agreement with the new outfit that bought Graymont to get asphalt. That's the, the excuse that we got today. So. I really, I have to strongly recommend that you don't do anything to help him because he's he's not deserving for one thing, and secondly, we're trying to hold a line on him. We are holding a line on him, so we really have to get we have to lawyer this thing up with the whole nine yards, and that's what's coming next. I totally agree with you. I don't disagree with that at all. Uh, but whenever you feel they're ready to pave, go yeah. ahead and do it. Because I got a guy coming tomorrow who's going to look at the roads. Okay. You know, kind of give me some kind of a quote and when. But the total of those three roads are probably less than you normally do. Yeah. Considerably less, I think. Okay. But it, we're doing right now the Dubois Road. We've got four more hookups to put there. And we have to cut the road four more times. And, you know, 
two spots is not bad, but when you got seven spots, that's pretty, uh, that gets pretty rough, and that road's not that old. So I was thinking, I talked to Jane today, I don't know how the financial deal is going to end up with, but I was thinking if there would be money left from this water project, that we could pay just that section. Okay. You mean right at the start of it, you mean? Well, you know, as you come in the Duval Road from the milk station, you got the three, there's two houses, there's going to be three cups, there's two houses and an empty lot there. I want, they, they want water there, so there's going to be three cups right there. And you cross the bridge, there's going to be four cups. Okay, I don't like it. So I was thinking of just paving, you know, that section. If you got seven cups, you got to hit with a snowplow in the wintertime. It's just like a golf course, you know. Um, hopefully that one will be all right for one winter. Hopefully, if you can, do it this year. Maybe you can, I don't know. Well, so well, I just did. He's got to get these streets done now. Now I have my end done to do while we're over. We know the that. golf course, is he gonna, ever going to finish that? Hmm. It says he is. <clears throat> well, what we need is a crystal ball. Yeah. Okay. You know, time's going so by. Well, are those hookups that we're talking about on Dubois Road part of the water project or something that part of the water project? They're part of the water project. Well, they, they're uh, after the engineering, am I correct? Yes, they went the, after, the, the, you know. The, the, the parts for those, the pipes and the meters and all that stuff is part of the project. Okay. The digging is, digging is not, am I correct, Alan? Yes, the digging we're doing. Okay. Because they came after the project was designed. Right. They got permission to buy the materials out of the project. So the pipe and everything else, and Alan's doing the digging. Okay. And Who's doing the hookups? Uh, Mickey. Mickey has a license, and he's got a... Mickey's good on the pipes. Well, right. guys are just hooking them up. He has a license to do that, and the, the, the machine or the wrench, whatever it is, the tapper, what do you call that? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the that belongs to the village, am I correct? Yeah, we're renting that from the village. Okay. Okay. So we hooked up the sewer last week and water for one guy. We put it in one. You've hooked up two already, haven't you? Three. Three? Okay. We went all the way down on that last That's house. Yeah. Well, that. it gives us eight or ten extra yeah. customers. Which yeah. Well, it's a big shot. Because these people are also paying ADUs. Right. So that's a shot in the arm for us. Right. right. Okay. The are going to be there. Every one we gain helps. Yeah. When you gain eight or ten, it really helps. Yeah. Okay. Anything else I want to No. About it. Okay. You know, I had one that I meant to mention, ask Anthony today how we're doing with the sewer project and the DOT. And do we have any, you guys got any they information? Have, well, we're waiting on DOT. That's all I can tell you. That's been that way for three or four months now. Yeah. That project will not happen this year, I don't believe. But, but we're close to losing that grant. Is there a coordination going on between extending? There was. I'll check on that for you. Yeah, because they, I thought there was like much, the end of this year that... Well, they said that under the circumstances that DOT was going to do a good portion of that line. I will check on that tomorrow if, if at all possible. We might need With DOT to leverage the funding agency, the grant agency, that hold that money until... I do believe they already got the extension, but I want to check on that. Okay. I thought they said they did, but... Yes, I'm almost positive. Well, it's been extended a couple of times. Yes. And I thought there was there was one of these line in the sand deals where well, we're not extending it any that's further. That's a little over $400,000. Yeah. yeah, it's a good that's, shot in the air. It's okay. almost half the project, right? Or more. Okay. okay. Um, I'll send Anthony an email tomorrow too. Okay. I'll mention it next time I talk to him. I'll yeah. mention to ask that question. <coughs> Julie, you have anything in the town question report or anything? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You want to announce the, uh, the garage town, the townwide garage sale? Maybe? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the townwide garage sale is this Saturday along with the Champlain. You have your open house. Great. So if anybody wants to get on the map, they'd have to call me. Okay. And it's the Village Fest this weekend, this Saturday as well, in the Village okay. Champlain. And the sidewalks will be all in place and all ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you have your uh, post audit bills to review and you will need to approve the monthly bills. I'll make a motion to approve the monthly bills. 
Okay. Which, which one are we looking at here? Two. This one right here. Yep, that's the one. Okay. That's the one. I'll second that motion. Thank you. I have a question. Are, are any of those federal law services billing associated or applicable to the water yes. project? Yes. Okay. That's a question I've been meaning to ask. Do we back charge those to the, to the water project? I don't know that the answer to that question, but I'm going to have to ask that. But they, they can get expensive. Yes, in a hurry. So mm -hmm. expensive already. Right. They are. But where will we be without them, right? Well, I think that uh, Matt's doing a pretty darn good job for us. I did see a little different side of them today than I usually see, so, which is good. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Okay. Uh, um, I have a question on, on page two. Uh, the, the one bike path stone, isn't that material that was to come out of that, that project? No. I don't think that's 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 our sure. We have to put it so much into the We got We got a <coughs> kind service so they could get that grant the first time. The town had to come up with some okay. kind services. Right. And that was part of it. Right. We did that 4,400 feet right. to fill, to cut in the brush. And Okay. That was part of the town's in kind services. So, but there wasn't enough stone, we had to buy more stone? Well, we had to buy stone to begin with. I mean, we didn't have enough to do okay. that. I do believe I have a motion and a second to pay the bills. Any other questions on the bills? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's carried. Julie, I'm sure you got more for us. Yeah. Water District number six, disbursement approval number 37. Vernier Cars, $30,547.93. Luck Brothers, $557,656.48. Dole Electric, $15,314. LH LaPlante, $1,425. Atlantic Testing, $425. Um, Casella Construction, um, the original amount is $97,617.25, less um, liquidated damages of $50,400, which we would pay Casella $47,217.25. I'd like to make a motion that we table the, the bill from Casella. I second that. Yeah, I just, I think we should add as per our attorney's recommendation. Mm -hmm. You know, you were there when the attorney advised us not to pay this bill. And we're going to hold off on it and table it until such time as we get okay. Well, that's if we need, we'll have a special meeting to pay it. Yeah. Um, so does everybody <coughs> understand we're paying all these bills except for one? Right. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Take care, Nick. Everybody understands we're paying everything except for one. Uh, I'll have a roll call vote on this. It's a lot of money here. Uh, John? Aye. Steve? Aye. Clark? Yes. And I for myself. That passes. I have I have nothing further. Does anybody else have anything further to bring before the board? I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll so move. I'll second it. Thank you. Wow. Well, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? If you oppose, I want to know why. <laughs> yeah, today I'd like to know why myself. Have a long day, guys. I got it. That was cute. <laughs> hey, push, yeah. So we so push a little green button. You guys usually have to sign. Green button? Yeah.